Warriner. Well, we started off our holiday week on some great footing. Just a beautiful day today. Sunshine after chilly morning, afternoon highs in the 60s. A few spots hitting 70 degrees up the interstate around Rolla and Fort Leonard Wood. Here in Springfield, 66 was the afternoon high, and it felt so good out there. Wish we could bottle this up and hold on to it and use it throughout the rest of the week, but we won't be able to. We've got a very stormy pattern ahead. The first cold front, which has moved into the area, snuck into the area. In fact, it's put on the brakes. It's about to lift back to the north uh, overnight tonight. I'll be keeping an eye on clouds, which are starting to come together to our south across southern Arkansas. Those clouds, that moisture will be moving north overnight tonight, and it looks like that'll make for a mostly cloudy start to our Tuesday, and it'll come with a threat of a few showers. In fact, we'll have that threat of a few showers arriving probably around 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, those showers will continue to spread on off to the northeast and east. Most of the shower activity will be east of Springfield during the morning hours on Tuesday. We'll probably see some additional showers, though, continuing across that corridor, though, from northwest Arkansas into south central Missouri into the afternoon. Now, as we get into the afternoon hours, as this storm to our northwest really starts to wrap up, we're going to have a slot of dry air wrapping underneath that storm and into southwest Missouri. That's going to help to clear out a lot of the cloud cover cover here and that will lead to warm temperatures. I think we're going to see highs in the low 70s in southwest Missouri and with that sunshine will come wind. We're likely going to have wind gusts which top 35 miles per hour across those locations during the afternoon off to the east and southeast. We're going to continue with cloudier conditions and a chance for showers. Now as we get into the evening, we are going to have to keep an eye on instability levels and a cold front moving into the area because this is a very potent storm, very strong wind field. But with these kinds of situations, you need balance. You can't have a lot of wind and not a whole lot of instability. You need more instability in order to organize those storms, sustain those storms, and allow them to become severe. Right now, it looks like there may be just enough instability, primarily east of Highway 65, for a severe weather threat as showers and thunderstorms try to develop along this cold front as it races east across the area. So timing for the severe weather risk will be tomorrow late afternoon into the evening hour, say 5 to 10 o'clock. That's going to be the window east of Highway 65 mainly, and there could be damaging wind and possibly isolated tornadoes. So this is something we're going to have to keep close eye on tomorrow evening. Again, this will be a very quick threat. I think the bigger risk tomorrow night will be for some strong winds outside of thunderstorms where we could get gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour. The possibility of gusts topping 50 miles per hour it's there as well. So if you've got some loose items outside, the garbage can, some of those holiday decorations, you're going to want to secure those tomorrow before we get that wind tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Here's our hour by hour forecast. Again, the threat of showers to start off the day on Tuesday. Most of it east of Highway 65 by noon. That's where it should stay during the afternoon. Here's the activity we'll be watching as we get into the early evening hours. Look how quickly it races across the area, and it should be gone after, say, 1030, with uh, mostly clear but colder conditions developing overnight Wednesday night. Temperatures tonight? Well, they're going to bottom out in the mid 40s, but they should be rising back into the 50s by sunrise. Highs tomorrow will range from the low 70s west to middle 60s off to the east. And again, keep in mind, winds will be very gusty tomorrow and especially overnight tomorrow night. Let's show you the seven day forecast because the storminess doesn't end there. After a quiet but cold day on Wednesday, a cold rain for Thanksgiving Day. Temperatures stuck in the 30s. Showers and drizzle on Friday with temperatures slowly warming through the 40s into the low to mid 50s. I think by early evening there will be another potent storm impacting the region early Saturday. So we're going to have to keep an eye on timing and instability levels there. We could get uh, maybe some severe storms out of that. That would be primarily early in the day. That storm will also generate very windy conditions, I think, for Saturday into Sunday, and it'll be turning sharply colder again with highs of around 39 on Sunday. So for a traveling Wednesday looks like the best day. Thursday not so much with cold rain. Yeah, yeah. Thursday, uh, Wednesday looks like an okay day for travel, yeah. but again, Thanksgiving Day is going to be one of those. If if you're mm -hmm. spending it locally, you're probably going to be stuck inside. All right, Jamie. Viewers Club number one five two seven two five jackpot twelve hundred dollars. All right, Jamie. Thanks. Well, coming up next, Thanksgiving is just a few days away, as we were just talking about, and we have some helpful tips if you're traveling.